Don't you worry, Genshin fans. I haven't forgotten you. You're new here, but I haven't forgotten you. It's just my... my the majority of my channel Star Rail fans, a little bit of ZZZ fans, and like one dedicated Wuwa guy. He knows who he is. Or she. Ah, it's tough. They're in my walls. It's really tough. No, literally, I made a video about how they are in my walls. You should check it out on the channel. Anyway, that shameless plug aside. You know how it is. I, I haven't forgotten you. I just, you know, I need to focus on the Star Rail. Help me. Get me out. Please. Take me over to Genshin. Please. But not until, like, January or February, okay? Hey, I don't have an intro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and it is time for what was promised. And by promised, I mean it really wasn't, but so many of you have been asking me for this that we're going to do it. So, without further ado, let us begin the, what, like 40-something long playlist of Genshin Impact character teasers. First up is Fish, Fish Show Can't Lose Just Yet. Uh, Hoyo Angles. He's in Korean. Did I get it right that time? Oh, some of these better be in English. Is that supposed to be Tarask? Millennia long. Girl, you're 16 at bet. Please wake up. From like a dream. Oh, her name's just Amy. Oh my god, she's such a... Oh, I love the Chuni. The cringe is amazing. Embrace the cringe. All right, uh, next, it just jumped right into it. Uh, next up, we have the character teaser, Venti, the four wins. wonder if we'll see the first, second, third win, too. Oh, One be millennium ago, oh, thank God. when the aristocracy fell at last from grace, the defender of the South banished tyranny from the city gates, while the West spread her wings and took her rightful place. The wanderer in the North settled with the woven race. As the four winds blew, to all corners they flew, but much was to be done to build Mondstadt anew. The animal god called on them, each one in turn. First their leader, the West Wind, though he found himself spurned. The Lion Fang Knight was less than impressed. I have no time to join you in sing, dance, and jest, for you see to these three while I handle the rest. He's a poet and he didn't know it, or he probably did know it. Next did he track down that leader of wolves. Asked him to tame his most unbridled of souls. Dude, that thing's badass looking! The wolf leader growled, he would not be contained. Do not lecture me, bard, you who are the least restrained. That thing's awesome! So the animal god implored the friend he'd known first to blow the ice from the face of the earth that, that thing's awesome. could once more be birthed. But the dragon had known his bard god friend too long. He would not share the work, but dictate it through song. Oh, the, so he is Do important. some real work, Barbados. What in the Demons of Solomon just happened? So the weird bard kid is the god in the story? I'm piecing together context clues of what little I do know. Why did it only mention three? I thought you said four. Whatever. That dragon's on the cover of, like, version one of the game, so that might be cool. All right, next up we have Character Tales, Fleeing Sunlight in the Night. I It doesn't say who, so I don't know who. Oh, it is fear and destruction incarnate. Never mind. I don't want to know your Did secret. You know there are monsters that come out at night in Mondstadt? Why do you know that? Shh. Be quiet. I'll tell you everything, but you can't tell nobody. Can't tell nobody. 
After everyone is tucked up cozy in their beds for the night, monsters pretending to be the Knights of Favonia has come out to trick people. The Knights of Fabio are back. From inside the confinement room. And so... Boom! I blasted the door open to defend monster from the monsters. It's like... But the master gene who grabbed me and dragged me away was really scary. Scary like the real master gene, not like some monsters. So strange. So strange. Kai is the one who told me the secret about the monsters. He didn't tell nobody else but me. It's like innocent hook, oh, and I love Kaya. it. Coaxing Klee into escaping from solitary confinement, it seems. <laughs> Perhaps we've made the child studies a little too imaginative lately. Ma'am. You you were one of the characters. Both of those characters didn't have a, a demo. Which is crazy, because like when I saw whoever the lovely purple lady is, when they were doing a trailer, she was like blasting people. And she looks like a wizard, so that's really cool. I'm very, very, very interested. Apparently there was a lot of characters that didn't have demos, so I'm, I, I want to see, hopefully they're in here. Sir, need you personally see it? Sorry, you scared the shit out of me. Okay, next up is a Chilade, um, Child, child E, Sigil of Permission. Such a routine matter. Relax. I have other matters to attend to as well. It's the dude who was like leaving home with like a letter to his sister or something <laughs> for the schnitz the schnitzel for its arita. One day we can't continue business here. We can make it far away with this. But, but master. Is it Zhang Li's voice actor? The debt. That's uh Oh yes. Silver Silvers. <gasps> Who's there? Who's that badass looking dude Guard! in the corner? Protect the master. No matter what it is you owe. You can't run from your debt. What is he, a loan shark? Is that not the law of the God of Contracts in Liyue? God of Contracts? Fatui! Master Ganshu? You can't just barge into a private residence? Fatui, Guys, that word again. Show him how we treat unwelcome guests at Yan Shang Tea House! <laughs> not much for adversaries. Oh yes, give me the badass water weapons. Of exercise. Oh, I love it. I love it. person had a sigil of permission in their possession. It's been years since anyone has seen Who's the case. cool dude in the robe? Your job is debt collection. Yet you failed to check what treasures he possessed that you might collect? Apologies. A dereliction of my duty. Enough. Let's go. Yes, sir. What in the hail Hydra is going on over there? So is... Okay, so his demo is very different from his teaser. I don't care. I would just pull him for the water weapons. <laughs> oh, Zhang Li, yes. This Show me this bad. Fairy lady at Wong Shum Funeral Parlor. Ma'am. Sorry, no simping. My bad. That'll slowly be introduced into Genshin. You'll all get used to it. No one of importance. This gentleman beside me is our most knowledgeable consultant, Mr. Zhang Li. This Noctilucus jade is small, is a beautiful shade of translucent blue. It would be a shame not to buy it. I can only hear Rook from Dragon's Dogma. Pasting a windwheel aster to wet glaze before it is fired in the kiln? Fascinating. The flower turns to ash, but its shape is forever retained. Such genius. It would be a pity to not purchase this. Yes, sir. Core lapis is itself hard to gather. It must have taken true skill indeed to unearth two pieces so alike. We should buy them. Yes, sir. A fine Who is this? Jade. Artists in porcelain, and a pair of core lapis, and a wind wheel aster as a gift for the fairy lady. Yes, he even got me a gift. Mr. Zhang Li truly is an amazing person. When Zhang Li transition, it would be far more appealing to go to Wan Min restaurant is as opposed to Childe on the side over there. Or Leo Li child Chalade? I'm Enchilada? Fine it is. So long I'm getting good at this. But do they only have chopsticks? <laughs> You will need to be adept with chopsticks if you are to truly appreciate Leo's gastronomy. That would be me. Mr. I would be just. We have Springvale boar on the menu today. Would you like to try it instead of the salt and pepper tofu? We'll have both. In I've tried tofu. I'm not a fan. Customs, we gave Xiang Ling a tip for her amazing new dish. Mr. Zhang Li values friendly ties over Mora and is generous in word and deed. I like him even more well, now. The Wang Xiong Funeral Parlor often foots the cost of his generosity. Funeral Parlor? But thankfully, the Northland Bank is bearing this particular bill. What in the mortuary system is going on? 
Welcome, come in. Excluding this pair of hairpins, everything else is for sale. They're not for sale? Why not? These what a marketing are strategy. These by a poor fellow to scrounge together money for his wife's medication. I must hang on to them for him until the redemption period expires. Oh. I paid off the oh. shopkeeper and took this pair of hairpins, seeking to return them to their owner with some living expenses on the side. Oh. Please help me to conceal these expenses in our accounts, would you? I will be sure to buy you lunch. Hey, bought him lunch? Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, once you become entangled with Mr. Shangli, there's no getting away from him at all. Amazing. I love the character. I also love this gentleman. This lovely lady. But it's respectful. It's not simping. Next. Quit. There we go. Next up, we have Al Albedo. Albedo, still life and creation. I tell you, an edit I wanted to add in before, which only people who were like thirty or forty years old would ever have understood. When he talked about, like, soil being, like, the root of life. If anybody ever watched the Final Fantasy anime back in the 90s, you know the one I'm talking about when the dude just starts pointing at people and he starts saying shit like, soil is my power. Yeah, that's the one. Anyways. What you got, crazy white-haired geoman? Alchemy art that revolves around all living things. And the study of life, in particular. Who are you? Acquires painting. Lovely yes. little green-haired person. We certainly make wonderful paintings of anything that piques your interest, Mr. Albedo. Arise, lifeless dust of the universe and that within. Thou art reborn. Holy shit, he just did that without a transmutation circle. Now, Sucrose. <sighs> Sucrose? Simply amazing, Mr. Albedo. Oh, the green-haired lady, okay. Next, I will paint the common visha. I find the carapace to be its most enjoyable feature. The intricate patterns, and even its sheen. Why does the but art the right here specifically go off like crazy? And requires but a few quick brush strokes. Voila! I'm just gonna put a happy- Arise. Your brush, bro! Excuse me, Mr. Albedo, but I fear creating such creatures may sit outside the sphere of acceptability within our roles as alchemists. Oh, is that so? Just like always, overly passionate about what piques your interest, yet completely indifferent towards anything otherwise. So I'm assuming she's also a member of some alchemist group. Leave me long enough to finish your painting. Who the hell are you? It's like somebody fused fucking Rhydon, Kangas Kong, and Kecleon in one go. I don't know if those are the names of one of those Pokemon, but I know the other two very well. Alright. No, stop. I didn't tell you to play, you silly thing. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, anyways, next up in the character teasers is Ganyu, a knight in Liyue Harbor. The comments were very keen on informing me about this character. The night scenes of Liyue. The lantern light of centuries. Only I know that this rising star has come far in the millennium past. Which I understand. She is Only a cutie I patootie. But you guys take it too far. Dew forms on the glazed lilies and disappears again. 106,327 heartbeats. The time that has passed since I last knew rest. Packing up the stalls. What? Closing up the pavilions. One can almost hear the street lights going Oil, out. Angles. It is as it is night after night. Ever so distant from me. The night of Leah. Over. Now that you know the secrets of the night, Is she looking would like you that? accompany me to work overtime? No way! Who the hell said no way? Don't. I don't know how to feel anymore. It was like so beautiful and quaint, and I was like, oh, I could feel it. The energy resonating. I, I do like this character a lot. Maybe, maybe the internet wasn't so bad about this after all. And then I was invited to work overtime and it just killed the whole vibe. All right. Anyway, next up is Endless Suffering, a short trailer by Genshin Impact. 
Again, no character name, so I have no idea. Oh, awesome flute. Evil takes on many forms, but always carries <gasps> Oh, it's a cool Oni mask, dude. It spawns monsters that lurk in the Random mountains anime. where the Adepti dwell, preying on the living for decades. It manifests as devastating pestilences, scarring the world for centuries. It is the sworn duty of the Yaksha to purge all evil. I assume that's you? But after millennia of bloodshed, karma takes a toll. A moment of complacency, and I too will succumb to the darkness. An instant of negligence, and it will turn me into one of the monsters I swore to purge. Well, edgy, are we? After millennia of suffering, oh my and endless slaughter. The art went crazy. I know for what they really are. It's like young fucking Wu Wu Jing Yuan there. Same color, the scales, everything, spear. I definitely didn't say that name right, but anyways, I digress. Can't wait to get the angry comments about how I compared something to Wuwa. Y'all be crazy. You slept the whole day through, you know. Good thing you're awake. Weesh. You're just in time for the lantern right. What about the lantern left? Huh? <gasps> I <laughs> carried did there. you here on my back. I'll go get you some medicine <laughs> now. <laughs> I've only seen that character like three times. I love that little zombie. <sighs> Gone. Like the wind, bro. Now you need medical attention. Chill. Oh, that's cool. It's a lot like the, uh... <laughs> Did I scare you? Don't worry. This mask Could you is imagine monsters. if he... It really works. You don't need to be afraid. Huh? Are you okay? You look tired. Grandpa! Rice wine pudding? Those are three words I never thought would... What are you doing here? I guess if you're a god, you can do whatever you want. Well, hello there. Care to join me for a drink on this fine evening? I love him. Her? Huh? Him? It's a him, right? Oh, you started celebrating already. Any rice wine for me? Sorry. Tonight, it's a dude, but it's voiced by a girl? I, remember, right? I can't remember. <laughs> Very nice. I'm very new to this scene. <sighs> it's good to take the mask off once in a while. Even just for one night. I like that character. I thought I would hate that character based on their aesthetic, but just that whole mentality was awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, so a very troubled soul with a badass mask. I like it. All right, next. What do we got? I'm not even going to add cuts. I could just have it go straight through. Okay, next up, uh, character teaser, Hu Tao, Hu Tao, boo -da -boo -da -da -da. you know that, uh, this is going to be a weird transition, a terrible segue, but you know the, uh, the episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog when the fox kidnaps Muriel and runs away, the weird little voice that kicks in right when it transitions, it's like, Hu Tao, that's all that name makes me think of. Um, anyway, though, this is Hu Tao Scared Yet. This is the little sparkle look-alike, right? The little, like, exorcist ghost person who actually has a little ghost. <laughs> Give you a fright? You did, Honestly, actually. who comes to Wuhong Hill in the middle of the night? Who rhymes like that? You believe me. Come with me. I'm Hotel Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director. Let me help you cross over. Oh my god, dude, my spark of PTSD uh, yeah. makes me not help like this. You cross over the hill, not cross into the afterlife. Huh? And why are the butterflies our guides? Well, because they want to be sealies when they grow up. <laughs> Pause.
Some of you probably already know what I'm trying to think of, and I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to move on. Though that walking encyclopedia Zhongli would no doubt have a completely you know different Zhongli? explanation. Well, I guess you're from the same place because of the clothing. Okay. So that, you should that's be a safe, safe assumption. Here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Of course, if you really oh, that's so cute. Are adventuring, then be my guest. You still terrify me, though. Adventurers are our VIP clients, after all. We even have coupons for you. <laughs> coupons for what? Exorcisms? Oh, do you have a travel buddy? We're having a sale. Second client, half price. I have too many questions. What just happened? All right, next up we have Eula, 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 the weird dancing lady with the clothing that is way too tight to actually dance in. Midnight Encounter at the Tavern. Boyo, Angles. <sighs> Thanks for sharing the table with me. To think all the other patrons are actually avoiding me. <laughs> I'll remember this. What? Seriously. Are you gonna get drunk? They cared that much about my lineage. Even if I were out for vengeance, they'd have to wait their turn. What's happening? The Gunhilder clan. The Roggenvinder clan. And the Lawrence clan. Okay, there's a normal one. Are the three most prominent families. Oh, I almost in laughed. Oh boy. Like this dude, Among he's them, cool looking. The Lawrence clan oh, never mind, he's a bad guy. <laughs> Plunging Mondstadt into a dark era under the aristocracy's oppression. In time, Lady Our Vanessa dude, overthrew the aristocracy and established the Knights of Havonius, while the Lawrence clan quickly fell into obscurity. Oh, that's funny. Over the next I thousand ate my own years, words real quick. Their flame of vengeance continued to flicker and burn, but never again did it ignite into a blaze. Cool fire. Perhaps the finishing blow to the Lawrence clan was. She who is known as the Spindrift Knight, most Spindrift. gifted descendant of the Lawrence clan, Eula, joining the Knights of Favonius. Although what? the word vengeance is always upon her lips, she has proved time and again that she is a kind-hearted and honorable With the sword. ally. Hey, when a noble woman is speaking, you are to lower your drink and look her directly in the eyes. You really ought to learn some proper etiquette. And you should drink more. I bet it's that Gunhilder girl talking about me behind my back again. Ugh. Monstat <laughs> gossip. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. What was that trailer? <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. I had too much fun being sassy. Oh, that's funny. I love, by the way, I just got to throw this out there. To all the Genshin fans, who have come here brand new to see me play Genshin and your comments have been filled with positivity and some of you questioning, but still reasonable. Thank you. You are welcome to stay to the ones who have come here and been nothing but rude and considerate fucking assholes. Thanks for your comment and bumping up my video engagement. I appreciate you. You can leave now. All right, next. Kadehara Kazuha Moonlight Breeze Moonlit. Oh, Jesus. In this coffee. Oh, that boat is so cool, dude. Wait, the what? The waves upon the shore and the rustle of leaves in a bamboo forest. I don't care. Show me the boat. So dissimilar. <laughs> Kazuha, I hope you don't think I risked taking you in just to listen to your music. Awesome, I patch Allegra, lady. Ma'am? But we ought not waste the moonlight. Not before a big battle. I like the red color. Very, very cool. Battle? Wait, what? Though some sake would make this better still. Okay, I like this kid's style. A big battle, you say? Yes. The scent on the wind is the same as on that night. The scent of danger. Holy. <laughs> Don't move! <sighs> Just a breath away until I reach the port. Seems I couldn't evade you after all. Vision hunt decree. Hand over your vision. That's the little medallions, right? If only you could make one exception. Oh, I love the red green for you. opposite color uh, scheme. A maple leaf? 
bodied. Literally disintegrated. Ma'am, where is your I teaser? Is that in here? Sales, Beto. Beto. The storm is coming. Beto kind of a Beto. Terrible pun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, it's funny. All right. Next up is Kamisato Ayaka, the Homeward Heron. God, we're nearly at half an hour already. Yeesh. The Yashiro Commission's duty is to assist shrine maidens you? Okay. sacred matters and to manage distinguished artists of all kinds. Because of my upbringing, ever since I was a child, I've been studying etiquette. Interesting. Painting and calligraphy. I have not studied etiquette ever. Tea ceremony. And the art of the sword. It's the Shirasaki Hibikimi! <sighs> Meeting a foreign envoy, Miss Kamisato? Always working hard, I see. Oh. You as well. Oh, cool little masks. What is this? Ah, why these are for the coming festival. Preparations are already in full swing. <sighs> I see. That voice switch up. Good to be home. Okay. I can finally Get scared put all for a my etiquette aside for a moment. Oh, a pair of masks. When did you purchase these? Who? But oh. as eldest daughter of the clan. Huh? The festivals? Well, I. Oh, of course. Who are we I've talking to? to? I guess it doesn't matter for the sake of the video, but. <sighs> Alright. If we go, then we mustn't let our identities be known to anyone, okay? I assume it's the main character? That's what I'm guessing it is? It's a safe assumption, right? Alright, next. Uh, Yoimiya. Yo, yaoi, yoi, yoi, yaoi, mia. The Queen of Summer on Narukami Island. I'm trying to remember who the hell this is. This is the, yep, the firework lady. about Summer on Narukami Island? Hoyo oh, angles again? What makes you ask that? Oh, <laughs> Toma put you up to this. Toma. Hmm, that's a tough one. Why don't you see what everyone else thinks? Oh, she's making fireworks. That's the so best cool. Thing about summer on Narukami. Oh, good question. Let me think. I think. Also, I think that um, for the people who don't like it when I say Hoyo, what is this angle? Just don't talk. I'm gonna keep saying it. I think we all know this one. So, did you find the answer yet? Nope. It isn't a thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, Summer just wouldn't be the same without her. <laughs> Who else could it be? Who indeed? <laughs> That's right! The best thing about Summer on Narukami Island is me. <laughs> huh? What was it? I, I, I don't. Who's? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough to make comments. Raiden Shogun, my Tomero. I'm scared now. <laughs> Whoa! Pause. Pause. Okay, resume. Just had to soak that in real quick. <laughs> oh, I know where this is going. Mm, that was a cloud quintet kind of thing. Oh, that's sad. Oh, it's actually worse, almost, from the looks of it. I don't know the details, but it seemed pretty bad. <laughs> Ma'am, do you perchance have a very sad backstory? <sighs> awesome. 
awesome transition. I like that a lot. Oh, are you the one who does the vision hunt thingy? Is that what I'm gathering? Okay, I'm putting some story together. The fuck? She just like... Toma! Paimon! <sighs> what is this place? I don't know who's talking in these cutscenes. <laughs> oh, man. With each one of these, I get more and more interested. Alright, what's the next one? Show it to me. Sanguine, I mean, Kokomi, the oceans will. Oh, this is the fish lady that everybody says is like an awesome healer. Hey, have you heard? She's the new divine priestess. Whoa, but she's so young. Do you think she can really handle it? Remember, Kokomi, as the divine priestess, the whole of Watatsumi Island will be entrusted to you. A whole no, island? You not be suited for such a role. From today onward, you must strive to Pink meet tree. the hopes of the people. You're right. Governing is not my forte. My true skills lie in... The art of war, focused on the single purpose of victory. Not the answer Our I expected. to hit the enemy hard while minimizing casualties. In this battle, Gobi's and Gorgasia platoons will be decoys. Who do what? Successful, we will besiege them. Otherwise, Swordfish platoon will flank the enemy and burn their provisions. She's going ham. I like the symbol on the flags. Qualified to lead Watatsumi Island? No, I'm far from it. I mean, war is chaos. And yet I see the method to the madness. Wow, I, I like your character way more now. How can I know what their hearts desire? What a sentence, and then to go right into that cute shot. Like, what the Please hell? Please visit Sangonomiya Shrine some time. I wish to talk. Interesting. Interesting. And people said that character is a healer. I wonder how, like, how important are healers in this game? I wonder. Because, like, it's a skill-based game, right? I don't know if it has, like, Dark Souls iframes or, like, uh, parry or block mechanics or something, but, uh, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I have, if it's if it's more like Star Rail where damage is unavoidable, then he, I could see healers being or tanks being, like, super important. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm interested in the sort of the method to the gameplay. Thus, All right, the Shogun now it's time for the teriyaki gang. Dangerous ...and dispatched its samurai to subdue them. <laughs> After a fierce battle, the samurai defeated the violent Oni and... Uh... <laughs> Wait, is this the right script? Wait... <laughs> Uh, anyway, in the end, humans and Oni overcame their differences, uh, and they all lived happily ever after. Oh, what a circus. <laughs> now that's what I call a good show. What happened? <laughs> yeah, boss. The Oritaki gang rules. Oh, it's a sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> The pose. Toma? 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 My lord, look backstage. <laughs> yes, most entertaining. Pity that the Tenryu Commission has arrived. <laughs> Arrest her! Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Dude's put on a street show and got his whole crew arrested. <laughs> He's amazing. Okay, next up. Uh, Shinhe, Shinha, Shinha. Lonesome Dream. This is the lovely ice lady, right? <laughs> A lot of hair. <laughs> Let's get me. Another nightmare. Huh? One has told you before. Be not complacent. The robes are to be worn even while you sleep. Yes. Master. <sighs> right.
stress, child. No Not gonna need to train it. today. Not gonna question it. Just gonna keep moving on. <laughs> Where's little froggy? Adios, frog. child and shall never have contact with anyone else respectful <laughs> traveler we offered so many tasty dishes we're sure to get cloud retainers attention so whoever you are is doing the talking if she still doesn't want to meet us then um maybe we can take all the food back Okay, so you are a comic relief character, is what I am obtaining from that. Alright, this is the one where I gotta brace myself. Oh, why do I feel like the standard of writing is going down by the day? Oh shit, you must live in 2024. Are editors even doing their job? She absolutely lives in 2024. Huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. I won't be bored out of my mind tonight after all. Light novels and sake. <laughs> what is this trailer? What do you think, Lady Guji? Erika's got some cooking skills, huh? Mm, Wasn't expecting like just random mukbang. Perfection. Tender and juicy. The kushikatsu are freshly made, and the taste is quite to my liking. That was a kushikatsu. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. I'm so hungry, I have not had dinner yet. This is a bad time. Lady Guji is this world's best editor, if you ask me. <gasps> She's a crafty fox who's always playing mind games. Truth be told, Yai Miko is a standing shrine maiden. Hey, she that fox lady I ate ramen with that time. <sighs> She's a scary lady who forces me to go to work. <laughs> Hundred years on, and the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides is all. What is the, with the tree? The trees. What, I'm so interested in this tree now. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Next. Kind of just seems like she's just sort of hanging out and wasting time somewhere. I don't. I don't know. Maybe there's like a deeper purpose that she's doing there at that shrine that you realize later. Anyways, Kamisato Ayato. Lanterns in the, the night. Kamisato clan is just one of countless families in Inazuma. Uh -huh. Hence, there is nothing exceptional about my work. Which is the dude that just went and arrested Ito. I do what must be done to ensure peace and stability for my family. At home, I am the clan head, or brother. In public, I am commissioner. But ultimately, I am just a normal person. Hey, humility, I like it. When work is busy, I don't return home for days at a time. Once the present problems are resolved, there are still future dangers to prevent. <laughs> this may sound vainglorious, but I do what I do so that everyone has a home to go back to. Respect. <sighs> Most inconvenient. Time to find shelter. Hmm? Huh? Hello, my lord. The dog! Uh, what a surprise to run into you here, Ayato. <laughs> One second. I'll go start some tea. Tomorrow, come on, boy. Tell you go. <laughs> How'd you get hey, up here in the first on. place? You need to let me stand up. Dog has my different goodness. plans. You're in high spirits. Thought you'd have a party without me. No, actually, we came here to make some plans for your birthday. <laughs> My lady. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. <sighs> she let slip the beans. The chance to work and to live life. For the sake of these, people will draw their blade. I like that guy. I didn't think I would like that guy, and I like that guy. Next. 
Yelling. Inevitable justice. This is the crazy, like, Las Vegas lady, right? A Hoyo? Please. Angles. Have mercy. We've told you everything we know. <sighs> Scram. It's not you I'm interested in. <laughs> Get out of here, punks. <laughs> By now, oh, it's not cool enemies again. The treasure orders. There's a lot to untangle with that group. They should keep her off our trail for a good week or two. You can turn we'll invisible. Put the and the horrors to deal with. There's no way she can keep tabs on us too. We'll have ample time to withdraw before she gets back. Huh? Who's there? Huh? Where am I? How did I? Is this? Sorry. I know this isn't the farewell party you were hoping for. Interesting. <laughs> you? What are you doing? Sweats here? nervously. My intelligence network doesn't stop operating just because I leave the city. I know all about the little games you've been playing. It's like the Jane Doe moment. This is I'm hilarious. The fact that I'm back means my patience has. It's not as big of a thirst trap though. This one's like. Your luck along with it. Slightly more of like an actual interrogation. Oh, that's right, she can make threads. That dude's probably gonna die. <laughs> He's probably gonna die. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, Tanari, when all is said. Oh, this is the dude, a lot of people said he was a fox. I thought he was a jackal, but then I went back through and watched it, and his symbols, I think it is one of those little desert foxes, little finnick foxes. So now we're, we're moving into the desert jungle Dear place. Master. Sumeru. I trust this letter finds you. We're making progress. This is a Thank lot faster than the kind demos. Offer of an academia post, but I'm That's afraid not how I you spell decline. that. I have taken up residence in the Avidia Forest, where I work Nvidia. as a forest watcher. Not an illustrious position, but my proximity to the rainforest ecosystem allows me to research it in great detail. Something is ailing the forest. I'm sure of it. And just as a doctor won't abandon their patients, I will not abandon the forest. It's like Android 17 was a weird little fantasy character. You promised me status and reputation. I like the railing. Yet, I do not care for these. Though if you are amenable, please consider sending some researchers to help investigate this strange phenomenon in the forest. Oh, he's cool. Or does that just look like a map out of WoW? Sincerely, your student, Tainari. Tainari. Okay, Tainari. Got to remember these names. I won't. It'll be tough. Sino, a just punishment. I love this character for like four different reasons. Then it's agreed. You ensure my personal safety, and I will share the research materials with you. All this fuss just over some risky research. What are you so scared of? Listen, you don't understand. But the academia makes no compromises. <laughs> There's a young man wearing no clothes roaming the deserts. They have dedicated officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. They call them Matra. Oh, interesting. And their leader, the General Mahamatra, is the most fearsome among them. Mahabharata? Once he has you in his sights, he won't stop until he's hunted you down. Probably on the way to you right now. Cut it out. You're giving me the creeps with your ghost stories. Found you. Uh-huh. Called that shit. Oh, that's epic. A kid? Oh no! That's him! That's the guy! Interesting. <laughs> So they keep tabs on the scholars. Why? You and your thugs have no idea how much you've sacrificed! Save your energy. It's a long walk back. Oh my god. If you have any final words, save them for Judgment Day. That was... Very easy, simple, not a lot of info, but really cool. Okay, next up is Nilu, Nilau, Nilu, Dancing Grace. I assume we're going to be seeing some dancing in this one. The animation's probably going to pop off, right? To me, 
Zubair Theater is a home away from home. I hate saying pop off. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, it's making me hungry again. <sighs> How are the props? I did some fixes and touch ups. Oh, they were great. Thank you so much, Miss Nadia. <sighs> it's over. Now I don't have to hear Mr. Zubair yelling at me every day. Oh, he's just a worry ward, is all. Don't lose heart. Everyone loved your performance. Positivity! What is with your hat, huh? dude? Hey, get back here, Buster! <gasps> Aw, here you are. Swoof! Like a good doggy, huh? <laughs> Aw, oh, come here. Look at him! <laughs> Have you been eating some extra treats? Look at him! I barely lift you anymore. Every day special theater is a day full of bliss. Feet. It's your movement. Oh, You're still not go. getting it. All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying. Finally. We're done. It's gonna like randomly get sad. Oh shit. Oh. Without everyone's tireless efforts. This special place wouldn't exist. I always wish this show could last a little longer. Well, a bit of an extrovert. <laughs> oh, we do indeed have dancing. Red hair is so stand out. Thank the design is awesome. Thank you for coming to watch our performance. It seems like Genshin has a lot of characters that, like compared to other gacha games, are just sort of like ordinary people. Like in any other gacha game, you have like the warrior of this clan, the head of this clan, the strategist here, a wandering mage, the head of this organization. You know, this mysterious person, you know, the emperor's second assistant, like all that crazy shit, you know, this monster from another realm. And then in Genshin, you have dancers, photographers, like bartenders, <laughs> like merchants. And it's like, who, what, what are you people doing out here fighting? Like, what? <laughs> So they have the the other things I just mentioned as well, but there's a lot of characters who are just like just simple ass people, and it's like a a fun little shift. All right, next. Nada, not nah, Nida, happy birthday! Oh, this is the little lady that I think was super creepy by the end of her trailer. When I woke up, oh, you talk this I time. I was riding in the flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people Archon. can't wait to meet you. The Subzerius Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. <sighs> finally, I got back on the carriage. And waved goodbye. Okay, how does this turn when dark? I, woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Oh, what's the twist? I'm waiting for it. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. I don't like it. I don't when like I it. Up, I was riding in the flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. 
Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Sephiroth Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. No one's smiling! Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. <sighs> when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was... It was my birthday. Are you, like, sealed? Happy birthday, Nahida. Nahida, okay. Okay, my... I was about to go down, like, a dark theory route where it was, like... She clearly is all about plants and stuff. I wonder if she's, like, this thing that, like, every so often brings, like, this age of prosperity to the people. But when she goes to sleep, she sleeps for, like, super long periods of time. And so every time she woke up and saw new people the people who woke her up previously had like died of old age a while ago. And so like everyone she would ever know would always be gone. And then eventually she would be woken up in like times of peace, times of war, the end of the world like that. That's where my brain was going with that. And then the main character was in there, but then they were there after, which didn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe they do like a star rail thing where you like go to that area, leave and then come back. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I am highly interested and also extremely terrified if I ever see that part of the game. All right, next up is Wanderer Ashes. Uh, very similar to Adventurine, I have been informed that the internet basically adores this character and it is everyone's favorite. And I am here to tell you that I have never talked to, met, or engaged with this character in any way outside of his demo, and I don't like him. Once more. I have lost my heart. It hurts. Yeah. My skin feels like it's on fire. Oof. Burning me alive. Turning me to ash. There's the ashes title. You mean, you wish you had a heart? Hmm. Have you ever heard this story before? There once was a puppet soldier whose greatest wish was to be with the ballerina doll forever and ever. But the soldier didn't have a heart and didn't know where his feelings came from. What in the Wizard of Oz is happening? One day, his owner didn't want him anymore and threw him away into a fire. I don't want to play with you flames, anymore. His eyes never left the ballerina. The next Respect. day... The people found a tiny heart in the ashes left by the fire. Probably ashes in the shape of a heart. But that's not a real heart. Maybe. But what if hearts can be born from ashes? Oh, that's cool. <sighs> Ooh, that got How dark. dare you die like this? And break your promise to me. <laughs> what a joke. It's just ashes. Nothing left but ashes. Oh, it's like the Musashi if moment in fate. Could That's have awesome. To death in that fire, too. No. In fact, I wish I'd never been born at all. Oof. Hello? <sighs> I've never been born at all. Is that really all you wish for? It's just... That's so painful. Internet. I would apologize for not liking your favorite character, but I won't. Uh, thank God these are from the same company. Otherwise, making this comparison would probably really be bad. But it's the same company. So that's. I, I have no idea when this would have come out chronologically. I assume this came out before it. But that is literally just the exact same fucking thing as the adventurine moments. 
Guy's in the worst moment of his life, so he starts talking to a vision of himself. But is that what it is? Is that what it is that makes you people like them? Oh, I love when people have internal turmoil and they end up hallucinating and seeing themselves and having a, a real heart to heart. Oh, God. I can't wait for your hate comments. Leave a like while you do it. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. All right, next up. Al Hatham. Questions and silence. Now, I wanted to hate on this man, but I've learned that he's also the, the voice actor from a voice set in ZZZ. Time, so now I like him. To investigate the genesis of language. Genesis of language. But since their inception, these symbols have silently recorded everything. The skies. The stars. The mountains. And the birds. Where your headset is killing me. Conflict. Peace. Maybe I was right. And people from all walks of life. I kind of hope I'm not right. Anyways. Words are strung together and edited. History made and archived for posterity. The scribe records not only the truth, but the questions it leaves unanswered. Not only the truth. Many of them will remain unanswered forever. Forever. The profoundest eternal questions are met only with a boundless and eternal silence. Oh, that's a cool place. Do you go there in the game? Oh, I like that. That's cool. My God, okay. I wonder how many more of the Sumeru ones we have left. Because next up is, uh... Dia? Can the wall really keep the Dia. sandstorms out? Uh, Dia, dawn over the sand. Sorry, I had to get uh, the title in there. <laughs> she never meant for it to keep anything out. The wall? Don't you think Sumeru City's a bit far, Dia? She'll get homesick. Besides... Who knows how the people in the rainforest will treat her? Mm. Oh, are the people of the desert in the rainforest like at odds? Please, can't you let us in? No, entry's prohibited. Mm -mm. But the sandstorm oh. is raging, and we have a child with us. You hard of hearing, no means no. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> this way, quick. <sighs> Easy now. Watch your step. Oh, so she's like a helpful person. Okay. Just crazy because she's like badass, throws hands. Don't worry. If they do find you, I'll handle it. Relax. Bright. Just trust the Dendro Archon. Things are different now. <sighs> Whatever you say. Dendro but Archon. what are you planning with all that Mora? Isn't that like your whole life savings? <sighs> You'll see when we get there. Interesting. Are you gonna end it like that? Okay. All right. We'll take good care of the girl. Your generous donation will be used to provide for the desert orphans. <laughs> oh, no. I'll need a name for the fund. Oh, the heartstrings on How that about one. about the Wall of Hope? That wall was never meant for keeping things out. It was for protection. I hope the kids can forget about all the sandstorms and have a chance at a real life. That one was sweet. That one was sweet. That one hit a little bit. That one hit a little bit. All right, next. Baiju, an elusive curative. This is the guy I made the joke about being a whiz. Oh, the snake! Prepare ten parts of violet grass and three of star conch shells. Mash them together with some fresh glaze lilies, filter with gauze, and consume the resulting herbal brew. Um... More time. Oh? Does something about this prescription displease you? Oh, not at all. I have complete confidence in your prescriptions. Oh, they I work every His time. His eyes are snake-like. I didn't even notice that. It's just that... This prescription is for a pair of siblings based in Mondstadt. 
monster, then these ingredients will not be easy to procure. Mm, most of them are fine. It's just the glaze lilies. They don't come cheap, especially not fresh ones. Oh, poor Anthony will have to work a lot of extra hours to afford this. Hmm. This new prescription, though not as fast acting, will allow gradual recovery and buildup of strength, making it well suited to someone who's been suffering from a long illness. The needed ingredients can also be found around Mondstadt. What a dude! Dendro processed berries? But, um... <laughs> strange afflictions require stranger remedies, no? I have another backup solution. You'll need to boil some frog skins and lizard tails before adding a few drops of Changsheng's venom. Uh, uh, the snake? Th th this one will be fine. <laughs> oh, it was a bluff. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. A few drips of what from who? <clears throat> Next up, we have Linnea. Gloves of Wonder. People yearn to transcend the mundane like that. world. That which is mysterious. Also, oh, now we're in us all. the next area. Yes. So, did you have a good look? Yeah. Who's the kids with the awesome hats? hats. Definitely empty. <laughs> the hats definitely empty. Whoa! Amazing! How did you do that? <laughs> in the space of a short performance, the amount of energy in that voice line. The Holy shit! Between reality and fantasy, giving the audience a glimpse of the extraordinary. Oi, this isn't what I ordered. I clearly asked for a cider. Hey, you asked for a glass of our finest wine. Maybe you've had enough. Clearly. Uh, yeah, right. You think I don't know what I ordered? <laughs> or you don't know where you are. There. How about you take another look at your drink? That's how that works. Yeah, that's the stuff. Mm, that's the stuff, baby. Apples. What the? I swear, I was just holding it. I don't know about In this one, Chief. In the eyes of most people, magic tricks are like miracles. Oh, that was a cool little thing. But as magicians, we prefer to think that great miracles are like magic tricks. Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, people. Who's next? Nueva Lilala, Watcher in the Deep. Many questions have long perplexed me. Blue Zhongli in the house. I neither know why I was born in this form. What? Nor do I understand where my long life should take me. It's as if there's something I've forgotten since the very beginning. Amnesia backstory reveal? So, why don't you try to find the answer for yourself? Monsieur Novelette, <laughs> Monsieur. the is about to begin. Oh. Oh, weird little freaky people. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> it's not like you to zone out, Monsieur Nouvellet. I recalled some things from my past. <laughs> Field of grass. Events and me questioning things. A very long time ago. How old are you? Like seeing Joe Long Life long? Or like Vita 200 million years old kind of long? To me, humanity is like a pool of water. In which I see my reflection. Only oh, through music. observing them can I slowly come to understand myself. Oh, so epic. The court is now in session. Damn. What a cool character. All right, who's next? Who's next? On oh, the chopping block. Razley, indispensable protocols, boy. Your grace. Right. Fontaine's child welfare services has already made Give me all the hand throwing sampo. 
You needn't escort the criminal personally. I just want to ensure this task isn't left to someone who lacks propriety. Boots. Can I do that in his other thing, the demo? Uh, hello? Who is it? It's Risley, your father's colleague. I'm here with his friend. Oh, come on in. Oh, she's so sweet. Dad's still packing up his stuff, so you'll have to give him a minute. <laughs> That's all right. He has a long journey ahead, after all. All right. Be a good girl and stay out of trouble while I'm away, okay? I will. Your friend here's super nice. Not like the other guy. He looks scary. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite all right. Bye-bye. Come back soon, Daddy. I'll miss you. I will. Don't worry. Uh oh. Thank you for extending your sympathy, Your Grace. I thought I wouldn't be able to see her again. I only sympathize with her. <laughs> Love should be warm. But to you, it's become a form of punishment. Oof. Let's go. Oof. Next time you see your daughter, I hope you'll have become a better father. Damn. Chill. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why does that arc of the game just seem like it's just full of depression? All right, Thrina, member of the cast. The internet's favorite blue lady. Opera walks the line between truth and fiction. For though the story is fictional, as far as the characters are concerned, their fate is real. Got these freaky eyes too. Lies the oh, that's a smooth animation. What the hell? Are you and I the audience or characters on the stage? Nobody can know for sure. After all, nothing is easier to fool than the senses. Technically we know true. Only one Anyways. thing for certain that the prophecy is true. Bro, what is because the quality the show, of this teaser? The prophecy is a part of all characters' fates. Clearly, they go Don't crazy for this me? character. So, you still haven't noticed that I'm not even speaking to you. This is just a recording playing in your head. Now, do you see? But the this is a recording. has come true, and everything has been lost to the Great Flood. Scared. And you are the only one I have left. A mechanical dog? And so, while oh, we're like underwater, underwater, like it's playing cruel jokes on you. Only fate will not deceive you. Unless you can first deceive yourself. Itself. Oh, okay. I feel like there's a lot to unpack in that arc of the game. I don't know how I feel about that. Next up, Navia by special invitation. This invitation it's is the blonde yet to be girl, sent. right? Yeah. He doesn't have a fixed residence, so addressing the letter has proved problematic. Oh, smooth? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll deliver it. If you find the target, report to me. Yes, Demoiselle. Demoiselle? Really, really playing into the old France. <laughs> Was about to be toast. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> MC located. 
weird fairy thing located? <laughs> Spina Divosula Special Delivery Squad! Mission accomplished! Mary Poppins! What would a banquet celebrating Poisson's reconstruction oh, be without you? I assume it's a boat. Come on, partner. Let's go. It's a very odd mix of accent right there. Interesting. Interesting. All right, next. What do you got for me, Genshin Impact? Shen Yun, Discernment oh, and Ingenuity. A story about Master? Let me think. Can you? Hmm. <gasps> Master's a great inventor. The bird's cool. When I was a child, she made all kinds of toys for me. Aww. Oh, that's right, it's the bird. <gasps> Young Ganyu! <sighs> People told me she's like a half-mythical creature. So, like, I wonder how long ago it was that she was like a young person. Hmm. Like, are we talking like hundreds, thousands, a decade? They were often too advanced for me. <laughs> but they always showed me how much she cared. <laughs> Smug ass bird. Huh. You want to hear a story about Master? Oh, Ganyu and Shinha are both Master students to this bird. They say she likes peace and quiet. But she doesn't mind getting visitors on Mount Outsong. Outsong? In truth. She does get lonely if no one ever goes to see her. Oh, that's so hot! Oh my god! Cloud retainer, you say? <laughs> yes, I know a tale or two. There was a time when she preferred to oh, right, it's you, and was revered as a bold and decisive figure. I assume at this point in the story you would be about to. Hmm. Ponytail supremacy. Oil angles. The green <laughs> lipstick really throws me off. <laughs> the huff. <laughs> the glasses. Who push speaks up. about one behind one's back? Not to worry. I'm sure you will have the chance to very soon. What does one say about one what? Woodpool. Anyway, uh, next up, Chiori so Crimson Woven suit? Heart. Oh, the fashion what lady. What are you thinking? Why would you keep a Tenryo Commission official waiting? But he was last in line. Foolish girl. You are no apprentice of mine. Did you hear me? Hey, it's first come, first served. This wedding dress needs to be ready for fitting by nightfall. Elof, raise the waist a little higher to accentuate her figure. Elof? The sleeves need shortening. I'll fetch the material. Got it. I knew it. That dress is for Letitia, isn't it? Always dreamed of wearing a Chiori a wedding dress. Aww. So some poor girl's dumb dream is more important than my business dinner? Huh? Broski, <gasps> chill. Don't get bodied. <sighs> oh my, so sorry. <laughs> I was looking for my fabric shears. Those were the wrong ones. This, this was an expensive suit. <laughs> Oops. Oh, not those ones either. Oh, she's sassy. Poyo? What? what are you gonna do? <laughs> You're gonna die. What do you mean? I thought you wanted your suit tailored. <laughs> Random cameo. Chiori, who'd you throw out this time? What are you saying? <laughs> I did nothing. This one jumped out all by himself. He better pay me for the window. This can't happen again. He jumped out by himself. He yeah, had to get the right. fuck out of there at all Next costs. time I'll lock the windows too. <laughs> I didn't like her the first time around. I like her more now. That's funny. 
All right, next up is Arlecchino, sleep in peace. The lovely white lady that I made a bakery joke about. I'm sorry, father. I was reckless. When I saw those emaciated patients, those poor children, the futile hope in their eyes. I've told you before, recklessness always leads to failure. But it was not wholly in vain. I shall settle the rest. Going to the savior of the poor. Ah, those fools. They will never know the wonders of wealth. Ah, uh, greedy man. Huh? Why is this lady so scary? You did not just pick up a grown man with one hand. Boyo? This <laughs> lady's crazy. Father, your face. Fremenet. We can take in a few more homeless children next year. I have acquired some new funds. Oh. They call you father? Okay. Surely there's a detail I'm missing here. Mission accomplished. You can sleep now. <sighs> Thank you. Once I'm better, I'll start my next mission. I think you're about to be better. Those who parade their virtues often do the most evil. Why do you just look like the villain? We are not like them. Rest in peace, Snezhevna. My child. Well, uh, not gonna ask. <laughs> All I got from that trailer is she's a badass. The backstory is probably even more terrifying than I'm expecting, and I'm kind of worried about that. All right, next up is Purple Bloodborne character, Clorinde. Final failsafe. Some say that champion duelists are to Fontaine as the safety is to a musket. Which is to say, a chance to defend one's honor and avoid the scrutiny of the prosecution. Okay, typewriter. A way to unload the pent-up emotion in the courtroom without a violent eruption. Respectful, everybody. Stare respectfully. Looking at it, mainly. The gloves are on. To denigrate the law and question its authority, we must safeguard the dignity of the court. And as a last resort, we will Ooh. do so by force. In that case, Mr. Mescal. Please confirm whether I understand the defense's position correctly. You vehemently oppose the law, refuse to stand trial, and request an alternative recourse to defend the honor of your guild. That's right! I demand a duel! Objection! Oh, bro's about to give. It is only when the safety is disengaged and the champion duelist takes aim. I don't think dude was ready for this. Whose hand controls the gun? The request for a duel is approved. This decision is irreversible. Well, I think we know what happened there. Holy shit! That's wild. Okay, next up is Siguimi. Everyday Correspondence. Yeah, this video's running way longer than I thought it would. I can't remember Dear who the hell Monsieur this is. Nebula, how are you? I had 
haven't written in a while, so I thought I'd send you an update. Siege win. Siege win. Not how I ever would have... Oh, the little Dr. Rabbit lady. The Duke tells me that you're always asking after me. Please, don't worry. Everyone at the Fortress of Meripede is really nice to me. Walsy, She's... we've had it with you. What even is this? It's completely inedible. Suck it up and eat it. <laughs> the food here is delicious, and the people are super friendly. What is happening? The Melusines come by to visit me sometimes. Melusines? Is that the weird little praise for the fortress? Furry children? And they get along great with everyone here. Sneaky sticker for you. <laughs> this one's really cute. Let's give it to a cute person. You <laughs> once said we have to discover the meaning of life for ourselves. So she's friends with the blue Zhongli? Completely right. Interesting. <sighs> Life at the fortress is often pretty uneventful, so my infirmary is empty a lot of the time. He's down! He's down! He's down! <laughs> Too easy! Is it just Kronk from Emperor's New Groove? Yeah, great. too easy, Cusco. I really like being a head nurse. Uh, anyway, the Duke and I are planning on taking a trip out, so we'll definitely see you soon. <laughs> I look forward to it. He <laughs> seems much more satisfied now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hope you're not too busy. <laughs> We're here. The timing. Intermarest. I wonder what that relationship is. I'm curious. And I saw a fucking hand throwing Sampo in the background there. How many more of these fucking things do I have left? <gasps> I only have three left. Oh, thank you, God. Okay. Next up, Emily testimony. A perfume can tell you a lot about the person wearing it. Uh, ma'am, clothes? Mint and fruity aromas express a yearning for youthful vigor, while notes of cedar and amber show a desire to appear mature. And though a fragrance fades with dilution, glasses, evaporation, push. and aging, so long as you filter out the impurities to remove interference, the perfume will still tell its story. You're like a perfumist? <laughs> The top note is citrus oh, I thought you just and tears, out. <laughs> Nerolean roses coming through in the middle note, and a grounded woody bass note. A very heavy fragrance with great longevity, rather on the expensive side. Rest in peace. Perfume can tell you a lot, even when the wearer can no longer speak for themselves. <laughs> We'd arranged to go camping up on the summit. But when I got up there, I couldn't find her. She must have slipped and fallen. Oof. <laughs> That's her friend's statement. What do you make of it? It's unusual to meet at the summit, especially for someone who's never been mountain climbing before. The claim that she fell is a lie. Oh? Why so sure? There was no sweat among the impurities present, and no lady in their right mind would apply such a heavy fragrance before a climb. So she's like a detective? Interesting. Being a guide in Nat No, it is. It's it's easy. Don't worry about it. Anyways, next up, it seems we're jumping into Natlin here. Mulani, kindness begets friendship. Being a guide in Natlan isn't easy. You guys all you have vehicles, you're fine. On an unfamiliar road. Stop right there! Hand over all your mora! <laughs> A bad lady! I'm scared! Still, as the elders say, She's if you like, can solve what the problem are you doing? with mora, <laughs> might as well take the easy road. <laughs> You're new with this, aren't you? First robbery? <laughs> no, don't encourage that behavior! This is for you. Not because you tried to take it, but because you're about to do me a favor. <laughs> oh, you know this area, right? Could you take us somewhere? Okay. What just happened? Whoa, it's here! It's really here! I'm sorry. What is this outfit? I wouldn't have done this if there was any other way. Shh, come with me. Huh? 
We're gonna be friends, and you're gonna turn over a new leaf. Gotta love these giraffe brontosauruses. Not anymore. <laughs> Yay! Being a guide sounds like a pretty cool job. <sighs> the elders also say beautiful scenery and good friends are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> the elders kind of got that going I on. The jackpot. I like the enthusiasm. I like the enthusiasm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, what's the next one? It's uh, Naruto and Sasuke, right? It's business. History's strongest disciple, Kenichi. Business. And it's in Japanese, yes. <laughs> you lick that? Okay. <laughs> Why is it retro arcade? I don't understand. Dude, the frickin... The thing I think I'm most excited for, if I ever play this game and get all the way up to Natlin, is these dinosaurs. Apparently you get these saurians or whatever, and I've seen, like, pictures of some of them. Oh, they're so cool. The water one and, like, the Jeez. Earth Kangaskhan looking thing. Oh, I want it so bad. What you gonna do, buddy? これは適切な値段でしか受けない。ゲー。あの波中類、偉大なる勢力、フルアーハーを崇めたいって言ってるぜ。妖怪はね、あつこらしいぜ。オッケー、ツレンスレイディング。なるほど。竜を狙う上州